joyful people. We praise the Lord and we burst out in song to all, God, uh, to all of God's wonders and majesties and all the things he does. And Psalm 149 is one of those things that focuses on what the people of God are like. So the first three verses, praise the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song, the, uh, his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with tambourine and harp. So there's singing, there's gathering together in praise in, in the house of God, being shout, uh, glad and shouting for joy and dancing and uh, playing instruments like the tambourine and lyre and exulting in joy and uh, singing, singing praise. God's people praise the Lord, even when we don't feel like it. We praise the Lord. God's people are blessed by the presence of the Lord with them. And so, as Psalm 149 continues, For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. Let the saints rejoice in this honor and sing for joy on their beds. Uh, a bed of hay was the uh, place of rest for Jesus the baby and the humble shepherds uh, came to see Jesus, uh, Mary, Joseph, uh, took care of Jesus, humble people. The Lord took delight in coming to us, to the humble, that uh, Christmas night long ago. Psalm 149, verse 4 says, For the Lord takes delight in his people. God's people take delight to praise him. God's people enjoy the favor of God's uh, blessing toward them. And think about that even on our beds. And God's people take delight in his word. And Psalm 149 continues, May the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands. What is that double-edged sword? That is the sword of the Spirit. The Word of God gives us a sure foundation for truth and grace, double-edged, law and gospel, good news, but also the word of judgment. And that's present here in Psalm 149 too. God's Word cuts through the pretenses and the uh, pretty right, uh, bright packaging that we try to dress ourselves up and gives us uh, the uh, true word of God that uh, there is judgment against sin, but there is gospel good news in Jesus Christ as the Savior for your sins. This Christmas season, Let's praise the Lord. Let's delight and remember his favor to us as well. But let's also pursue the Lord, ask his forgiveness for our sins, and then receive the uh, edge of the sword that gives delight to us and the glory instead of the edge of death. We can look for the uh, the wonderful favor of eternal life in Jesus our Lord. Jesus is the living word of God. Let that word of God dwell within you.